Hello YouTube, this has been quite a while since I last posted, but I was busy over with finals and everything, but I do have a lot more coins because of that. I had a lot more time to buy coins. So the first thing I'll show will this be this Ecuador Colección de Monedas, so collection of coins. Um, it was an empty album, and it basically is just an album showing a way to display your sucres from early as 1937 all the way to 2000 when they converted to the dollar. I have most of these coins, so I've slowly just been putting them in. Um, but yeah, a relative gave me this when they were over in Ecuador, and I'm very grateful because, as I said before, I had a lot. I had most of these coins. I just didn't have a way to display them, and so now that I had this album, I've just been putting them in and displaying them. So here are some of the coins I have. I have un sucre, un sucre, segunda serie, so the second series, five sucres, ten sucres, twenty sucres, and fifty sucres. Here I have the third series, cien sucres, cien sucres. Um, there's a variation between the two. Um, it's very hard to see it. Let me see if I can... There. See, the one on the left says cien sucres, and the one on the right has like a um an anniversary it's uh 70 years same thing with everything else it's just that's the variation one is one says the amount of sucres it is so 500 while the other one is uh, an anniversary so i have all of those here we have the dollarization let's see if i can get it to focus yeah so pretty cool set. Very grateful. Here you have La Mitad del Mundo, the center of the world. Next we have something that not many people have seen, but it's a Disney dollar, currency of character as they say. Um, if you haven't seen my video already, I have a small Disney dollar collection. I found this at a really good price. So I picked it up. It's five Disney dollars, 2008 anniversary, the 80th anniversary of Mickey Mouse. Has some staining on the right corners, but for the price I got it, couldn't be beat. So picked it up. Very cool. Very happy that I got this note in my collection. And it came with the envelope which I don't actually have any. So that's a bonus for me. The next are some Ecuadorian coins that my relative picked up for me. Let's see if I can get the focus. Here we go. 1928, República de Ecuador. Un Sucre. Philadelphia, USA, 0.5 grams. 0.72 very nice coin that I didn't have before next up is another Sucre here we have a very nice obverse 1914 and on the reverse we have dos decimos de Sucre this is Point nine purity in Philadelphia was where it was minted. And lastly, we have Ecuador Dos Sucres, 1944. Again, beautiful obverse, strong strike by the hair. Reverse is amazing. Dos Sucres, you can clearly see the coat of arms. This was minted in Mexico. Very, very nice. Here are some American coins I picked up from my typeset. Here we have a standing Liberty Quarter in God We Trust, 1927. I got it for Melt, which is the best you can get. Here we have United States of America, quarter dollar. That's on the sleeve. There's a little speck right there. I'll put this in my typeset. I'm very happy. 
Next is a coin that I've been trying to grab for a while. Here we have a stone mountain half dollar. Very nice coin. Great condition. I love the eagle on the reverse. I might put this in my typeset as well. Very happy about this. Two famous generals. We have generals from the south, Stonewall Jackson, and I forgot the other's name. But important piece of American history. And there you go, Memorial to the Valor of the Soldier of the South. Also very controversial coin for at its time. Here we have a foreign coin. Not in great condition, as you can see. It has like some residue from a tape. Um, not the prettiest coin. But I got this for a really good price as well. So I couldn't pass it up. Five Corona. Let's see if I can take it out of the sleeve real quick. I don't have my tripod, so I can't really have very nice stabilization. Sorry for that. But yeah, here we go. Very cool coin, five Corona. Has some nice toning. I don't know if you can see that. But there is some toning to it. Kind of faint. But it's there. Also has some edge lettering. Yeah, pretty cool coin. And the last two pickups that I have are from the Vatican. Here we have the Vatican with full set. The coin up in the center, top center is silver. And the main reason why I picked this up is I'm trying to come and get as many Vatican coins, silver Vatican coins as I can. It's a bit difficult due to the plastic, but that right there is, wow. That's amazing. 500 lira. The other coins have very great design as well. These two mimicking the silver coin right there in the middle. Here we have the dove. Another dove. More doves. But yeah, that coin right there, very nice. Very happy I was able to add another Vatican coin silver set to my collection. And lastly, the seller kind of just threw this in there. It's um, not opened, but as you can see, there's tears everywhere. And it's a Vatican coin set, non-silver. Yeah, that's what I was saying before, non-silver. Sorry about the cut. Uh, phone decided to update, so that was interesting. But the designs are still nice. And these are coins, these aren't like souvenir tokens. As you can see it says one lira, 20 lira, 50 lira here on the reverse two lira one lira 1941 50 some of the popes but yeah pretty cool coins um probably if i get a good deal I would sell this since it's not really what I really collect. These are base metal, but hey, always cool to get some free stuff. You know, this was thrown in with the other one. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is probably going to be out around Christmas, so I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. You know, as I always say, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment down if you have anything you want to share, such as, you know, 
anything about, for example, these souvenir coins, the Disney dollars, the sucres, you know, anything. So yeah, I love talking to you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching again and stay safe.